Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I am going to flash ESP Home firmware on ESP8266.01. ESP Home is a perfect solution for creating custom firmware for ESP8266 or ESP32 boards. It allows users to quickly and easily build a custom firmware for any device uh, without any programming skills. ESP Home supports a long list of uh, devices and uh, sensors and protocols that can be configured using ESP Home and uh, there are mainly two ways for installing ESP Home one is using Home Assistant add-on and another one is using Python so in this video we are going to install ESP Home using Home Assistant add-on so for that navigate to your Home Assistant web UI and from there go to Supervisor tab and then go to add-on store and here search for ESP home add-on okay so open it and install it I have already installed so once you finish installing just uh, switch on this show in sidebar option so that you can easily access it and after that uh, click on the open web UI so here I have already added a device called office temperature but uh, for this video I am uh, means again doing the same procedure so to add a device just click on this plus icon and uh, here then enter the name of the device uh, for my case that is lamp then click next now then select the board that you are going to use for this video I have used ESP82661 board so I will select generic ESP8266 then click next then enter the Wi-Fi SSID and password so then in next step uh, enter the OTA pass password that can be used for the over the air updates the ESP8266 firmware click next and then click submit to finish the process okay so another device is added here on ESP home web UI now this is uh, the device that I am going to use for this project so to uh, edit the configuration file just click on this edit button and uh, uh, the basic configurations of your device that is Wi-Fi Wi-Fi name password or TA password and uh, API password will be already here now in next step we are going to add a binary component binary sensor that is DST11 sensor and uh, and light component that is a LED so the configuration uh, where you code for this is given here so for sensor the platform is DST and uh, the sensor is connected to GPIO 0 model name is DST11 and the readings that we are using is temperature and humidity and update interval is 20 seconds and for light component the platform is binary and it is connected to the GPIO 2 so if you you want to use uh, a different sensor than DST11 you can get that configuration code from the ESP home website so for example if you want to use BM, BMP280 sensor just click on the sensor and uh, the configuration code will be here so you can copy and pay, copy and paste this code on the configuration file and uh, there are another devices also like uh, core components or if you want to use any other MQTT protocol or binary sensors or lights light components so if you want to use an RGB light then the configuration code will be like this so copy this copy the code that for your sensor or light components and paste that here on this configuration file and then save it okay now then click on this and uh, then click on compile so this compile compilation process may take a while so once the this process completes click on this download binary to download your firmware for ESP8266 okay so the firmware is downloaded here we are going to use Arduino Uno to upload firmware on ESP01 board 
so for that uh, connect the esp01 and arduino you know as per the circuit diagram so the written guide for flashing firmware on esp01 is given at the link in the video description so once you connected the esp and arduino just open any uh, firmware flasher app uh, so for this project i am using the test motorizer you can use any other app so here first select the port at uh, which the, your esp board is connected then select the firmware file and uh, click on test motorize to start the form flashing process so once you done with this process just go um, remove all the disconnect all the esp8266 pins except uh, vcc and ground and connect uh, dst11 and uh, led to gpio 0 and gpio 2 pins of esp8266 and wait until your esp connects to wi-fi so after that go to configuration and integration and uh, your esp home device will be automatically discovered by the home assistant here by clicking on this device you can uh, check all the entities that is humidity temperature and uh, switch to control light if you didn't turn on the edit mode the esp device should be already visible on your overview page so otherwise you can add these device uh, entities by going to edit dashboard and from there click on add card and uh, select the entities here select the entities that you want to show on your overview page so here the entities that i want to show are living room humidity living room temperature and uh, the lamp so select all these three entities and then click on save button here i have already added so i will not add them again now you can control the led connected to gpio 0 or psp 01 by simply uh, clicking on this lamp icon this is how you can install esp home add-on on home assistant and then can flash firmware on esp01 device so the complete written guide uh, the same is given at the link in the video description thanks for watching the video